Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm trying a new mic setting. Let me know what you think. Um, normally it's set for, well, what's that setting called? Cardioid? I guess what it is, where it's very specific. It only allows the voice that's coming directly into the mic, but it gets rid of all ambient sounds. And I've noticed as I edit these things that as I move around as I'm playing the game, sometimes my voice will fade out like I'm hitting that part of the mic where it just cancels out and it sounds like suddenly I'm I'm talking from across the room for a second or two. So now I'm trying more of an omnidirectional setting. It'll, it'll pick up all around the mic, but that could also pick up sounds from speakers and, and other things. So I'm just curious what do you think of the sound this time versus the previous ones? Anyway, I've been goofing around in here, which I tend to do between episodes, because if I didn't, then we'd still be about where we were, where we were back in episode 20. So I like to get some of the little stuff done that isn't important. Unfortunately, some things do happen while I'm doing that, like this combat supplier just uh, popped in a while ago. He's, he's still out there floating around somewhere, at least I think. Oh, these are travelers. No, it isn't. A trade ship. That's weird. A trade ship is passing by. They're known as the Grassland Travelers. That sure sounds like a you know a ground-based caravan that's on its way in, but it is a trade ship. Anyway, so we've got that to deal with. And I've been messing around here with Alicia. 18% um, now. We were at 11% at this point last episode. So we're getting some progress. Um... I think we're going to be okay from all the, the little comments I've been getting from folks as long as we keep her needs and her mood in a good in good shape. So to work with that I'm trying or I'm experimenting here, giving her lots of joy, very little work, and a chance to grab a meal every four hours. This might be too um, congested. Maybe we gotta break this into four, six hour groups instead of six four hour groups we'll see but nothing but playing chess and sleeping in what's now a superior bed i swapped it out from this one had klaus quickly make a swap over there and i had him drag that that uh, marble sculpture in there and, and drop it off for her and still have some meals over here so we'll see if we can i haven't really run her through this pace yet i just started this so we'll see if she improves vastly as a result so we're at 44 percent right now rest is going to go up for a little while then she's going to need to eat again so she's never really going to get full in her rest but comfort just went through the ceiling so that's good and beauty is is pushed up quite a bit too in fact michael made a new statue up there which i might bring down here as well we'll we'll look at that in a little bit but i had set i was going to send tomislav double click there and handy out to do some hunting because they just woke up klaus is just gone to bed rabbit what is he up to he's playing chess okay but he you know, he can help out too and thinking that what i'm thinking of is maybe we need to go hunt some wargs you know i wanted to take out the ostriches which have a run speed of around six and the emus run speed of around five while we're running at seven until this disease is over then we're going to go back to a you know piddly little 4.5 walk speed all the time and that's that's going to feel so slow after all this but um oh i know what i was going to say i got to thinking we're, we've got a lot of wargs building up on our map maybe we need to go and hunt them while we can and while we can outrun them that might not be a bad idea because they're eating all of our prey up there all of our deer you know we wiped out let me move over there where are we? Up in here. Wow, this is a big map. Okay. So they've moved the deer have moved north or they've left the map. And that's right over here that's left. And the wargs are up in here. They've eaten all the ibex. In fact I just had Rabbit sneak that one ibex that was right there back to the kitchen for us, but the other one's right there. Uh, still two thirds of it available and still fresh for another day, right? Spoils in a it's refrigerated. It's cold out there. Okay. But I think it's time to hunt the one, two, three. How many wargs we got? Got a fox down there. There's a grizzly. Lynx. Got a lot of predators around here. Four wargs. 
Got a wolf in here somewhere, too. Right there. Five wargs. Yeah. They're starting to outnumber us. <laughs> but anyway, um, what stopped me from my little messing around in here and, you know, getting materials brought over to our, our new little defensive structure over here and things like that was that I got a message and it reminded me of what something, something that uh, New Foundation had, had said. Oh, a couple of episodes ago. He said, I concentrate a lot on the predators up there being um, bears and wolves and things like that. But the uh, the foxes are the ones to really, you know, worry about. And I was thinking, yeah, right, uh-huh. Then I got this message. Sangria's being attacked by a red fox, and she's running, and she doesn't have any any melee weapon, and she, and she doesn't have any melee skill, and this thing runs twice as fast as her, and she's in trouble. So, I thought, you know, I'd better start recording. <laughs> we gotta go rescue Sangria. So, Tomislav, you were going to get a meal. I'm gonna to have to interrupt you, because I need your charge rifle and your running speed. So, Draft, you're running up here. The hard part is that we've got to deal with this thing and not shoot Sangria. But, I'm... Now, can I... I can Draft. Okay. I can Draft and send her to us. Let's do that. Tomislav, let's send you out to, oh, maybe here. And Handy, who I did get fed and was getting her a revolver. Let's finish getting her a revolver. I think it's more dependable than the machine pistol that she's got. Shantigo, you've got a good run speed. You are resting. There's no Z right there. That's why I clicked on you. Are you... You're just finishing. I clicked pause at the instant the Z went away, but you haven't got out of bed yet. Your food is dead, though. But your mood... Mm, it's going to be okay. You can help. All right, so you... That didn't work. I got a bed, didn't I? Yep. Draft, you're coming out here, too. Where am I? You're out into this area somewhere. And rabbit, you playing chess, but you've got a good shot. You come out here, too. And Handy, we're going to come back to you. Missa P is mining. Michael is relaxing socially. He's in pretty rough shape, but he's... Let's see. What's causing this? All these are where they are, and that's just a tiny little bit there. That can't be enough to make up for that. I don't know. Where you at right now? You're down there sitting at a table. Okay, but you've got an assault rifle, and I really need that assault rifle. And you've still got a run speed of 7.13. So you are drafted. Come on out here. Pop into that area somewhere. And the last one is handy, right? Shantigo is on his way. These two are. Klaus is asleep. He just got there, so I'm not going to bug him. Uh, Sangria is the one in trouble. I don't think she can use her weapon. Anytime you're forced into a, a melee situation, you, you're, the range weapons, to my knowledge, won't work. She can't shoot when they're invading the same space, same square. So she's just going to get nipped at and bit all the way down while they're running up to help her. And I don't see any, any other way around that. So she was up here taming boomalopes. And it was okay. There was that one red fox there. Who what? What's the real oh, food? Well, you see the two little lines way down over there. You don't get the sense that this food means that, hmm, that, that he's hungry yet. There's two little lines way down over there. Like he's just got a little appetite. He's got a little tummy. So I don't understand why he's attacking, unless they will also attack just from a proximity issue. Don't know. Why are there only two boomalopes there? There were four last time. And all those disappearing deer, like the, like, like they're spawning in and despawning instead of naturally walking off the map. We haven't, we haven't um, tamed any boobalopes, and the two of them are still here. The other ones should be somewhere. I think Rimworld's playing with funny math on me. I really do. Anyway, so Handy was the only other one to watch, and that was just until she went and got her revolver. Now she is heading up this direction. Let's take you up even further. You're the closest one. And let's see what happens. Ouch. And ouch. Health. So right leg scratched. 
that's not good. You're already running at a at a three. No, oh, that, that, uh, 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 let's go, let's go. Ouch, ouch. Now, can I have you actually shoot? I don't know if I can. I can. Can I do it while you're... Oh, I was under the impression that they were forced to melee at this point. I was wrong. You can't shoot anything, but at least you've got a running chance here now. Um, Handy, you, Sangria, go sideways. Handy, fire at the fox. Uh, Handy, go... S I mean, um, Sangria, go sideways. Go, 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 go. Uh, that wasn't a shot by. No, scratched. Okay, your range is... You're still in range, okay. Um, yeah, just keep going. Keep going. Although now you're... Undercover. Okay, you guys. Head over here. Handy, go there. Sangria. Fire out. Nope, get going. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Okay, somebody's gonna at least slow him down. Got him. Whew. Okay, that was exciting. Andy, would you like to uh, uh, have the honors of finishing that off? All right. You can only rescue. Cannot, well, because you're not set for hunt. Let's fix that right now. Sangria. Hunt four and hunt there, and you can haul it in. Then you can your bleed rate is not worrisome, right? No, no immediate danger. All right, you come on in and get fixed up. Everybody else, hmm, we have four of us here. Do that. Who wants to go hunting? Nobody does. Um, who's desperately in trouble here, mood wise? Needs. Andy's fine. Tomislav could use food soon. Um, Michael was... No, he got a meal. And Rabbit. Who else is here? Shantigo. And he's going to eat right now. Okay. In that case, I think I'm going to keep this group here. Natalia's up. Where are you? Right there. So you can... You can... Uh, uh, Dr. Sangria. So how about this group hangs around here. Go ahead and eat your meal. And let's go hunt some wargs. Right, handy, and run speed. 6.2 now. Tomislav run speed. It varies. I've never figured out why. He was 7.13 last night, yesterday. And now he's 5.6. Because of food, I'm going to guess. Are you carrying one? Gear? You are, but I can't make you eat it because you haven't hit that line yet. Okay. Um, rabbit, run speed. You were 7.1 whatever a while ago. Now you're 5.7. And Shantigo run speed 5. Point. All these were 7s a while ago. So that really does vary. I wonder if it varies by where they are in the stage of need sending in 2.6 hours. Hmm. Okay. Point is, do we go take down a warg or do we not? Maybe this isn't smart. Hmm. But I kind of... I want to try this. Handy, go hunt this one. Handy. Hunt that one. That must be dead. Buck, sleeping. Does somebody over here have the command to hunt? No, you guys are all on your way down to somewhere. Sangria's taking care of that one. You want to go play horseshoes. Now you're going to come over here and hunt this buck. Right over there. Okay, now it worked. And Shantigo resting because you're still under orders to go rest because it's 2300. Okay, you are going to come up and hunt that warg. Uh, that's a rabbit now. Okay, why can't I right click on that? They're not set for hunt. Wargs will often attack when harmed. Yep, so hunt just to give them get them over here get them moving. So we're looking at Shantigo and Rabbit. Okay. So Shantigo, you can hunt this one. And Rabbit, you can hunt this one. Now, what's that going to do to our paths? 
Um, grab you four. There we go. Everybody's coming down here, going up there. You know, this might be a lot easier if I were to just draft you all and send you all to where? Let's think about that. Because if we somehow trigger all of them, they're going to come from all directions. So what gives us the most advantage? It's probably right here. All of you guys go over here. We'll just do this as a group. And we'll do it as a hunt order. We'll do it as a uh, as a draft order. You know, military attack. Michael, hey, you came to join us. Um, needs, you're fine. And you're definitely getting on in on this too. So, draft, come on over here. I didn't see you standing there. Okay, so what else? Main goals while we're waiting. For before we get into some serious mining over here. That's something that I got to thinking we want to get the gauntlet done. As far as getting chunks in here, even if we have to if I have to go through and, and maybe after this episode just spend another half hour telling everybody you get that chunk, you get that chunk, you get that chunk, we'll just get them all hauled in here. There's chunks out in here. I've got them got them all triggered to be hauled, but we never get our hauling done in here to span out the radius to finally get triggered to haul that one. So I'm going to have to do it manually. No other way around it. Um, anyway, get the gauntlet taken care of. Get all the meat in that we can because we have got very little meat here as compared to vegetables, which means that's the end of the fine meals. And kibble. Got to get kibble going. Last time, I just made the assumption they weren't doing this because I had set it to insect meat, and, well, we must have run out. I didn't actually glance down to see that there's 400 insect meat in there still, so that wasn't it. So I investigated further to find out that it was set for skill level 0 to 7 because this was supposed to be a training station for future cooks. No point having Shantigo do it. Let's let the other ones do it. Problem is, life happened, and, you know, raids happened and um, that disease happened and other things happened and pretty soon everybody who's capable of learning how to cook is all assigned doing other things and nothing ever happened there. So we need to get everything, all the butchering done, we need to get all the kibble done. And so I reset the skill level to any skill whatsoever just to get it done. So the gauntlet, the second greenhouse needs to get in along with a couple more batteries for backup power. The safe house or defense structure or whatever you want to call this thing needs to get done. That's it. Those are the major priorities to get accomplished. And then we'll, I'd say that we're setting pretty good. Enough to where we can put most of our concentration over in here. Of course, that's not going to happen. We're going to, because we got our power down over here. We're going to get a raid. We're going to get another pile of prisoners that might actually look decent, and we want to put a bunch of effort into them, and suddenly everybody's going to be distracted again. But that's RimWorld. Okay, you guys are heading over here. And Michael, do we shortcut you? Well, don't want to put you over the top. I've got to have you come down underneath as well. So we're going to do this way. Okay. So you guys are coming out over here. We've still got this combat supplier. Hopefully when I see Klaus pop up, I'll have him do that. These guys can be doing this, though, on their own. So let's move up a little further. Let's go warg hunting, specifically. Right there. And Michael, you as well. Hop up into there. Otherwise, so that's these four and Michael. Natalia is researching and Miss P is oh she's got her first internal hallway just about chipped out so we've got access into here let's while I'm here set these to haul away oh, that's quite a few she got got to working in here too she enjoys mining she's strange that way <laughs> uh, back over here that took care of everybody who's up and Alicia just want to peek in on you all through the episode still 18 percent uh, mood is getting better your comforts maxed out now your food is crashing where are you real quick you're right there and it's time unfortunately to go eat again so consume a meal which means you're going to get a disturbed sleep you're going to get a lot of those 
and your, your rest is never really going to get there. But we have a superior bed and a superior chair next to an awful table, but the other two should do some good. All right, so we're waiting for we're waiting for Michael to get there, but let's go ahead and get started. You guys are going to attack. That probably didn't work. Let's do them individually. Rabbit's got room. Uh, he's got... No, he's only got this guy, but it's got a much longer uh, span. Fire at. There we go. In fact, Tomislav, let's move back a space. That's probably what was wrong. Go here. There we go. Rabbit, go there. Go there. Tomislav, fire at. Mm. Go one space that way. Fire at. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, you two are going to have to go there. And there. Alright, we'll try that again. Did you hit? You'd... Nobody's hit yet anyway. Alright, now can you all... No, I don't want to do that because somebody's going to... Oh, okay, we're good. All those shots and nothing hit. Michael, we need you. You've got that, that, that lucky thing where long range and boom. Okay, whoa. There we go. Warg Revenge. One, two. I don't think anything else triggered, but yeah, we've got to get you guys going now. Michael, you've got this guy. You could probably get a shot off as they run past. Probably. You guys are heading for... Hmm. Hmm. Here? No, I think you're heading for here. Go to the center for now. We'll reposition later. But you're going to take the right... No, you're not. Okay, you guys are all going here. And then you're going here. All right. We have two coming at us. One is down. What's your run speed now? Five. So nobody's in the fours. We can definitely outrun it. But it'd be nice to get another round of shots at it. We may just finish it off right here. Let's get a little distance going, because we've got that cooldown warm-up issue. All right, Michael, you can go right there, and you'll get a shot off. Let's zoom out a little bit and hit F11. There we go. Now it's feeling a lot less cluttered. Uh, that's not a space bar. All right, you're aiming right through us. You just hit Thomas Law. <laughs> right? You hit somebody. Who's red over here? Assault gun right if you got him twice. Wow. Um, good shot, Michael. <laughs> okay, that's what I wanted to see. And you got him. You run this way. You guys go back just a step so you don't shoot Michael too. There we go. Oh, got him. Good. All right, Tomislav, I guess you're kind of out of here. You're going to grab a meal first, though. Michael... The rest of you, mm, minus Tomislav, that didn't work. Hmm, I'm trying to just pull him out of the group, and that's now yeah, we're gonna go look at the world for some reason. Yeah, Wimbrel's funny that way. There we go. Let's go back. World. Now I just need to kind of separate you guys off. I don't want to do that. I want to grip everybody else. There we go. You guys go there. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Tomislav, go get fixed up, please. Thanks. Sangrip, did you make it in? You're making it in. Okay. And you went to this one normal instead of this one normal. You dropped off the fox. You must have dropped it off over here, and that is now the closest bed. That's why. Tomislav will head for this one, most likely. Because it'll be the closest bed. As a crow flies? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, we're back over here. Tomislav, you're gonna... You're undrafted. Yeah, you guys are not. You guys, let's go take out another nuisance. Which one gets it next? Grizzly. Don't mind the Grizzly. Although, that's a big chunk of meat. Got you over here. And... Lynx is over there. And we've still got the wolf right there. 
along with another Timberwolf. Um, no, okay, Timberwolf, no, along with another Warg. Warg was 5. You're 525. Five. Wolf is faster. Okay. Warg Revenge. That said, attacking after being harmed. Other Wargs nearby have also been enraged. Okay. So that is all done. You guys, let's go. Let's go play with a bear. Let's just make this happen. Where did I say the other warg was? He's not in here. Next available warg is not until there. Okay. There's not as many wargs in the map as there were a little while ago. Can let's go. Although he's he's undercover right now with the trees and it's dark out, so all of this counts against us for aiming. But if I were to say shoot at that, no, nobody's gonna go running, right? Good. Got him. Got him. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Lots of ammo there. Come on. Got him. Great. Hunting parties work really good for predators. That works well. Let's just put all of these on the map and we can spend the rest of this episode going to pick them all up. How does that sound? You, let's go pick up you. There's a warg. I'll go, but go get him next. And you are... N He's downed. Oh, okay. Then set him for hunt. Okay. Then, you guys, let's go this way. Um, let's go... Mud is slow running. You guys go here. And hopefully that's enough distance to be able to take him out without him reaching us in time. Let's find out. Right there. Sangri is being healed. Thomas is on his way. There you got him. Okay. No other surprises running at me. Nope. Okay. What do you got? He runs faster than the bear did. Got him. Okay. Mark you for hunt. Now, anything else we want to take care of? The timber wolf and warg over here, and the warg over here. We're going to have to go all the way around to become an issue, or we're going to have to go all the way through here to be an issue. So I think we're going to call that done. So if I were released you guys, right there, do that. Everybody's leaving. Okay. So, Handy, you're going to bring in this massive grizzly bear. Shantigo, you're going to bring in... Marble Chunk. Okay. Shantigo, you're going to bring in this Ibex. And... Who is that? Michael, you're going to consume... You don't haul. Then you're going to go hunt this warg. And then... I'll trick you into hauling it in that way. Rabbit, you can haul this one in. Right there. All right. You guys all have your marching orders. Tomislav, how you doing? Health, you are... Oh, that's, that's an issue I didn't think about. Sangria was set for the best medicine for scratches. Darn. That was a waste. Tomislav actually has gunshots. He probably should get at least some good medicine. We'll go, we'll go that route. I do want to try to reserve the last of this glitter world if I can. Well, at least it only used two of them for all those scratches. That helps. Okay. Um, Natalia is still up to take care of Tomislav, who is to be no longer set for self-tending. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. That was a Michael. Yeah. Got him. Okay. So that's everybody in. Cancel this one. Klaus, yep. We have a combat supplier to go talk to. You. Needs, your rest is right there. I'm a little worried about him going away soon. So let's go ahead and deal with this, Klaus. I'm just going to bug you. All right. Talk to Grassland Travelers, please. Thank you. And Starvation. Now, I just got her. Did I not? Shantigo. Oh, he really needed a meal before he left. Needs, he's in trouble. Hmm. And he doesn't have one on him, huh? Um, let's fix that. Character. Gear. Does not. Rabbit. Gear. You got one. Rabbit. Gear. Drop that. Shantigo. Come on down. And yeah, Rabbit's left you a, a goodie here. Right there. Shantigo. Consume fine meal. Hello. 
Okay, so we are talking to a combat supplier. What do we got? We've got medicine. We'll always buy the med. Whoa, 44 of them. Well, that solves the medicine problem. We'll keep that there, and but we'll we'll revisit that in a moment. You guys can have the wooden club. You guys can have the steel shiv. How about the jade one? Only three dollars? It's jade. Hmm. You can have that one. Five steel clubs are available. Oh, we moved them into the hallway. I remember it was three and two in a bedroom, but all five are in the hallway now. Okay, we're keeping those. Okay, so these are theirs. We don't want those. All right, we do have a steel equa that we can sell, worth 18. Sure. Okay, wooden a wooden longsword. Who? Well, that's theirs. I'm gonna say, who brought that? Steel longsword we're keeping. Eventually we'll have a melee character that will that could use it. We're keeping all of these. That's theirs. Auto pistols, revolvers. Pila is theirs. Incendiary launcher. These are. This doesn't say one time use only. So this will go over and over again, won't it? Hmm. Problem is. Cooldown is four seconds. Once you launch it, what's the range? 24. We could use this against bugs. Can the bugs reach us 24 squares away within four seconds? That's the question. Is this a suicide mission for whoever launches this thing at a room full of bugs and it has to escape? That I don't know. Worth what? Uh, right there. Worth. It's only worth 18. We'll keep it. It's not a major sale for us. Okay. Shotguns. Interesting. They're showing one. We have two in that in that stockpile. Why would that be? I don't know. That's theirs. This is ours. I know we have two of them. I can't move right now to go look at it. Oh, there's one up here. Okay. Shotguns I really don't like. I really don't. I'm going to sell that one. I don't like them in this game. Let's put it that way. I'll take them in seven days to die anytime, but uh, not in this game. So, I got that right. That wasn't theirs. That's theirs. Oh, okay. What do we have here now? One. Okay, I'm still confused. That is ours. Right there. This one is ours also. Okay, we do have one and one. All right. Where'd it go? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't accidentally buy a weapon that I don't want to use. Okay, heavy SMG. What is with the heavy SMG? That one bursts three. Damage, 12. Accuracy, well, I guess it depends on the user, but not very good, except for right next to you. Hmm. Will we ever use it? That's the question. Now, it does have three bursts, which means we can use it for training, meaning you get a lot of shots in quickly, just like the, the pistols and whatnot. Frag grenades, we'll probably never use, but I kind of want to keep them in case I change my mind on that. Charge rifle is there, so none of this stuff. Is there enough stuff for us to be able to sell is kind of where I'm getting at. We could sell some of these. We have four of them now. Okay, we'll look through those. They don't buy animals. They don't buy other things like that. So I think that's all the stuff to sell minus the statues. We'll look at those in trying to offset some of this. That's kind of where I'm, where I'm getting at. Okay, statues. They're worth... A decent amount. This is the new one that we're keeping. A poor one. So let's take a peek at that one. We've got... Okay. Titled Six by Tomislav. Author is my goal. This piece illustrates Tomislav getting a drink from Kathra while peaceable. <laughs> Two lawyers are involved in the conversation. Oh, this can't go well. The image seems to express contemplation. The image is bordered by three finches. 
Okay, it refers to Tomislav attending Kathra's party. Ah, okay. And we just got another one. Don't know what order we're putting these in, but let's see what's one step up. No, that is cuboid number 10. Uh, okay, I can see the description there. This is the one that fails, so this must be the one we haven't seen yet. Right? Um, attempt of misery. Let's go to the bottom first. Relates to the capturing of Agira on 2nd of December. Okay, so this sculpture bears an artwork of Rabbit smacking Agira while capturing her with professional efficiency. Rabbit is laughing as tears well up in Agira's eyes. Almost every shape in the image seems to be square. Three historians appear near the edge of the image. I can see why that's a negative five. But anyway, <laughs> so we've read the other ones last episode. We're going to keep the poor. We're going to sell these three. All right, so this one here, actually, it had a beauty of 25. So that one will be helpful. And these are practice. Okay, so that means we're paying, we're getting 44 medicine for 828. Now, is there anything they had that we could use? And is it worth more than medicine? It'd be nice to get some vests. We need to start making our own vests, so I'm pretty sure we can do that. I'm thinking it takes components and other things, which are kind of costly, but we have a lot of these ship parts right there on the map. I got dropped in when we crash landed here. So we need to go round those up someday and then we can do things like this. Anyway, we have, because these are expensive. I don't want to spend 300 on one. Um, so same with the smoke pop belt and all that. There's a 192 for a simple steel helmet. We can make helmets too. If I remember right, the machine table or bench does the, that kind of stuff. I'll have to get that one built soon so we can kind of see what is available to us. Bold action, there's 190 for an auto pistol. 136 for a recurve bow, and the rest of these are going to be melee items we don't want. You are a granite shiv. You are fire foam shell. Fire foam shell. So this will shoot. Is this? I have not come across these before. A shell filled with the fire extinguisher foam can be fired from a mortar. So you can. Oh, wow. You can put out a forest fire from a distance? Is that what we're trying to say? Hmm. Now, will it do something goofy and shoot into a, a room in your base that is inside of a mountain and yet still somehow manage to penetrate and crash in there like some of the mortars used to? I wonder. Anyway, we don't have mortars yet, let alone the need for this, but that's interesting to know it exists. So I think medicine is our main concern right now, and I think we've just solved it. There is a lot of our silver gone. But medicine is, is really what I buy the most in these. Usually what, you know, the other great things are here, you just can't afford them. With the exception of one thing. No, okay, the exception of many things. We get bionic parts, we will be interested in some of those. Now we can't afford them. So bionic legs, that kind of thing. But there's also that psychic lance, or was it the psychic lance? There were two different lances that I remember. But the one that will cause something to immediately revolt on all of its its comrades and they'll all turn on it i use that for bug attacks we kind of have someone stationed ready to use it and when the bugs start to chip their way through the wall to get out i then quickly use it on that one and they all turn on it and then it gives me a good delay while i'm trying to figure out how to you know keep the bugs at bay but that one I like to get as an insurance policy. And I like to get some bionic parts, bionic eyes, legs, arms, what have you. Otherwise, other than medicine, I don't buy a whole lot. We make our own stuff for the most part. Um, so I think this is done. So we're going to accept and pause. Klaus, where are you? Oh, this one's automatic. Let's go show that. Uh, Chantigo's eating anyway. Yeah. We haven't seen that this episode, this, this series, but it should land just outside of this zone right here, which has moved. Why did that move? Hmm. Zone at a roof. Right there. Okay, we'll do that. And that means, boom, these two no longer need to be growing because they're not going to have sun over the top of them. Um, Klaus 
probably just went back to bed. Yep, this is I'm out of here. I need someone to go get that medicine. Kathra is playing horseshoes. Does she need to? We've still not torn that thing down. Needs, yeah, you kind of need to. Anybody else up? Natalia is up, but she doesn't haul. Natalia, I guess she has to finish whatever round of researching she's doing because she's still set for Natalia for medicine first. Let's get to work on... Oh, you did get Sangria done. Did you? You did not. Let's get Tomislav done. Thank you. And Sangria, do you need a meal? You do not. And Tomislav, you do not. Okay. You guys are fine there. So one casualty. One um, friendly fire casualty in there. But we'll get over it. Alright, you guys are coming in. Oh, Shantigo. Can you go ahead and bring your prey in? Thank you. You're doing what? You're resting. Yeah, bring the Ibex in, please. So we can get that thing uh, frozen and and uh, ready to butcher. So we've got this guy to haul in. Yeah, we could do that. Grizzly's gone. All the other predators are off on this side now. So really, it's just down to this poor ostrich. He is so, so in trouble. Oh, big pause. What was that? Turn this one off. Whenever I get a pause, either is an autosave going or I'm about to see this red box drop down and ruin my day. All right. Well, that's that adventure over. Handy just... Oh, we've got this going on. Interesting. Let's micromanage this then. Yeah, got here just in time. You're back to, uh, you're back to herbals. Good. Whew. Saved a medicine that way. Um, rabbit. Everybody else is going to bed because they want their, they want their fix. <laughs> uh, Handy, you are set to herbals. Let's go this route. Tomislav is now. Rabbit is. Shantigo is. Um, Michael. Already got fixed. Nope. He's off schedule. He was late last time. That's why. That's five. Who's the sixth one? You two. Shantigo. Did I get you yet? I don't think I did. Okay, so... Herbal, 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 herbal. Herbal. Klaus is the other one. Right there. And you're still herbal, too. Okay. And you got done just recently, right? Health. Two hours. So you and Michael were late last time, so you're off schedule from the other ones. Okay. And you're just chipping away here, you're just happy as can be. Except I would really love to get you down in here. Problem is, whenever she goes to get a meal, this is the closest part. So she automatically goes back to here. I have to tell her to go back over here. Let's send you to there. And Handy, when you're done, maybe I can get you back to putting in, although you've got some of the, the torches in. Yeah, you really do. Okay. Why is there a light there? Oh, that's a fire. There, that's wood burning. We have a wood burning stove. Is this lit up all the time? It is. It's not lit up, but this one is. Interesting. Okay. Um, we've gone through a night. We're at five in the morning, and we're at 162 stored. Where were we last time in storage when we finally connected these? I don't remember. But this will be the first full day of running the new power sources and charging these batteries. So I'm really curious to see where that lands. I want to say it was 150 something, which means from 4 p.m. till running out of sunlight, we put in enough to keep us even for the entire night. Okay. Though at night, this guy's not running. When we hit six, this turns on. Does not, it must be seven. Oh, there you go. It just took a little while to figure it out. Okay. So that's on a timer. It doesn't run 24-7. Alright, so what am I missing here? You guys are all sleeping in here. I sent Catherine in before the episode uh, ended or started to clean up this area. She did a good job there, although I see it's getting dirty in here. She brought something up in the comments that the pigs will have a animal filth rate of one versus the dogs, which will have an animal filth rate of zero. So the dogs don't bring dirt in, but the pigs do and the llamas right there. You've got like a 1.25 
so they bring even more in if you get big things muffalos and things they bring all kinds of dirt in so I went ahead and reset these guys to uh, Thomas off fully healed good to back over here for the the pigs and the llama and I guess until we get some some hauling training done which takes a while then we can we'll figure out what to do with them now was I hearing some kind of a shot or boom I was Michael got himself a uh, a buck and man he's on his way back great so it's we're down to one animal left to hunt let's rethink this I need kibble made and who cook Chantico was set to hunt it's time for him to get back to, to cooking where you at right here you're right there you're no longer hunting I'll leave you at a four on hunt and put you back to one on cooking Okay, so that will get meals going, which we are lower on. I need a backup cook. Who has a burning passion for it? Shantigo. <laughs> but Klaus, you're capable of it. You've got some decent... Oh, let's hunt. Cook. Let's do this way. So Klaus is second. And next is Tomislav. Sangria. Rabbit. Miss a P wants to. She's got a skill of four. Let's get Klaus trained up in case anything were to ever truly happen to Shantigo. We've got someone who can can make us some decent meals. Catherine's cleaning over there. <laughs> well, it needs to be done. You know, we're going to move into there eventually. I have to clean it all. Anyway, so Klaus, let's get your cook back to right there. You're going to start making kibble. Right. Let's set the meals yet. Fuel stove, bill, uh, fine meals, details, is still eight and higher let's go even further let's go to ten and higher still that way it's Shantigo that is the main cook but Klaus can definitely when he gets out of bed because he now needs his medicine then and Tomislav is researching and he will do that until he completes something Tomislav researching there is a timer and it's very slow so yeah you're not going to get the order to go deal with klaus for quite some time that is a chair let's try that again so go ahead and tend to klaus which means you'll tend to michael afterward sangria how you doing health you got really good medicine and three left on that one seven left on that one that was a good scratch anything to worry about scratch the left eye red fox Hmm. Okay, that's the same thing that Cathra had. Cathra right there. Scratch scar. And since then, everybody associates with you. Social. Wooed by Klaus. Handy rejected his advance. Uh, Cathra. Where are my names? Right there. So we have disfigured. Negative 15. I think that's the I. So I'd be curious if now Sangria is going to have that. Um, where are you in the list? There you are. Disfigured, negative 15. So a scratched eye is considered disfigured in this game. Now, she's well, she's up to an 84 now with Tomislav. Good. She had gone down all the way to 66. I was a little worried it wasn't going to happen. And I was thinking, well, if it doesn't happen and they call it off, there's a whole list of, a whole line of guys that are that are still trying to get her. So she'll be married eventually. Handy's doing that. That's good. Can I manually tell you to tear that down and then tear that down, then tear that down? And then while you're at it, your needs are okay. They're okay enough for now. While you're at it, Handy, also uh, tear that down, that down, that down, and then... Let's see how fast you can deconstruct. Your construction speed is really good. I'll bet you you can move through this. Just mow through it without... That's wood. That one could stay. You cancel. We'll keep a little chunk of granite in there. So if you were to do that, you're just like boom, 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 and you're done. So there's there's no time involved there. Tomislav, continue. Let's get walls, structure, and granite. Fill in these two right there. And put, actually, wooden door right there. K 
Okay, that's done. How fast is she going to plow through this? It's just a matter of making her do it, but as they don't do deconstruction until the very end of their construction duties. This is going to take a little more time. She'd be the fastest one on the map, but still it's going to take a little time. Handy, your needs... I think you're going to be fine. You've got a long uh, reserve sitting right there. All right, so Tomislav is working. Uh, he's taking a break. We're at 10, or 10 hundred. He's just finishing his break. Okay, so Rabbit is probably going for a walk. Oh, what was he just shifted over? No, he's going for another walk. Shantigo, you are cooking a fine meal. Let's load up your station here. Let's move in. Actually, well, I've never gotten anybody to move this piece of this venison here to there no matter what I do they won't do it where'd you go right there you are hauling something oh Klaus is making kibble great can you you can haul it how many times I have right clicked on that and nothing's happened real frustrating okay so you're gonna haul that and then I'm gonna have you actually right now grab that should be enough potatoes right there do that, then do that, then you're set for 15 me um house. <laughs> no, Shantigo, let's 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 halt. Shantigo, let's halt these. You won't. Why? It's potatoes. And there's potatoes there. Alright, how about this one? No, that one. Oh, because you're still assigned to do that one. Okay. Instead. Drop it. Now haul these. Go fill that one up. And Klaus, go get your own veggies. <laughs> Stole them from him right there. Okay, so Shantigo's fine. Rabbit, you are harvesting heel root. Oh, yeah. Okay. And these guys, 82%. Hay grass, 90%. Okay, so our first crop is coming out of here. It is the 7th of December. December, yep. When did we plant these? It took us a while to get this built. So it was near the end of the previous one, which was September. Okay. We'll get at least one more round of this 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 winter. This quadrum. In fact, it'll be right at the end of this. It takes eight days. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. And Rabbit, thankfully, was still set for grow as his primary. It just hasn't been any growing to do. Yeah, right there. His plant cut is next. And then he drops into doctoring if necessary. Um, oh, hunting is there. Let's take that back down. All right. So you're you're back to being our our herbologist. We'll, we'll call you. Otherwise, you drop into hauling. Okay, that's good. So anybody else to think about here? How's Alicia been doing? What we got going on here? Yep, needs. We're getting low again. All right. Oh, nobody has brought your food. Okay, I need a fooder. I need a hauler. Shantigo, you are consuming a fine meal. All right, who else is around here? Tomislav, did I bug you? Shantigo, how soon are you done? Yeah, by the time Tomislav walked over there, you'd probably be done eating. Handy, though, you're available. You are resting after you drop off these six. I think what's happening is I did say haul right hauling good is that this is the closest meal to whoever's working in this room and they're grabbing those meals too and going over here and eating them nom, nom, nom. so and then when Sangria needs a meal well, we'll grab it from here too so that's an issue but Alicia you can start the process of getting that done but otherwise needs your comfort is maxed out your beauty is halfway your joy's not too good but you got joy set up an awful lot you're never getting the rest done though but i can't have you rest long enough because your food crashes about to go into starvation mode here urgently hungry slightly impressive barrack and yeah, we've done a decent job in here spacious interior luxuriantly comfortable superior chair yeah starvation you're fine okay so we got her just in time um, where am I at? I'm at that kind of end of the episode timing, aren't I? This is where I look back at the map and realize we still didn't get anything done. Handy to get this done, though. So, we need to set orders, floor, 
remove floors. Let's get all of these pieces of flooring out of here. And then need to get wood hauled. And really, that's just someone who's already down where there is some wood. Whether that be out here. Anybody out and around? No, they're not. Because we've got a bunch of wood sitting over here that I'd really love to get out of the, the sun and put away. Speaking of out of sun, that's what I meant to do, and I never did. Um, zone. Add a roof. This stuff needs to be undercover. There. And you guys don't. That's the only one that, that allows for wood. Okay. So, need to get that done. But Handy's in bed. Tomislav has been healed. He is having a ball doing his researching. Who else is available? Rabbit is having a ball doing his planting. Okay. Shantigo is having a ball doing his cooking. Gathra, you're my fallback. You'll do anything. And you'd love to get off of cleaning detail, wouldn't you? Let's have you... Hmm. And Klaus is over here. You're butchering. You're butchering after you haul a bunch of wood to right there. And Kathra, you're going to haul a bunch of wood to right there. And that's all that I've got. Yeah, Miss Peep, you are there. Your needs are... You've got a lot of sleeping to do. Handy has got a lot of sleeping to do. Natalia doesn't haul. Michael doesn't haul. All right, just the two of them. That's all I've got. And that'll be fine. Cathra is going for the wood over here. And Klaus is going for the wood over there. Good. Um, needs, you're actually pretty good here. Let's have you haul that. And then... Hmm. If I tell you to then haul this and haul this, you will only build one thing. That could work. And Cathra kind of the same way. If I have you then haul or work on that next. You will just build the one piece after you lay it all out, then you'll go get more. That way, there's a good chance that most of this will go unbuilt and handy. You can come out here, and in 15 seconds, you can, you can lay it all out. That's all you brought? Okay, well, when you're all done with that, do that. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're going to call this one finished. Um, getting most of our priorities at least started. And all the hunting's done. I think, I'm going to guess everything's been hauled in. So, kibble will have been started. It would be placed right there. There's some kibble. And there's some kibble. Good. That can go off the list. So, and the, the planting's going on over here. Yep. I think we're getting pretty close to being able to start some mining. At least more more serious mining. Enough to where maybe by the end of this next episode, most of this can be hauled or mined out. Now, I did kill a couple spots there, there, and there to leave me some support columns while we build internal walls. So that should work out fine. Anyway, it's been Noble Rambler. I'm going to call this one finished. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.